Hey YouTubers, it's Tony here from We Try Anything, the channel that likes to try anything so you don't have to. Today's video, we're going to just step a little bit back away from the usual slew of Casio digital watches that we, we have been presenting on this channel and also some of the tutorials. And with this one being the first review of any form of watch in 2024, we're going to be reviewing this analog watch from Casio with it being the Casio MCW100H analog chronograph watch because it's got a chronograph built into it which has a module number of 5434. Now as is customary with all the reviews that we do undertake on the channel we'll be taking a look around this actual watch, we'll be looking at the materials used, the design of the watch and some of the features along the way and then what we're going to do we're going to pop it on our wrist and say which it's like to wear. Now this is an eBay purchase. Now the reason why I like to buy eBay watches because this uh, well, being second hand, pre-loved etc is that I like to show how these watches do wear over time. So you just get an idea or a snapshot of a pre-worn watch so you can kind of expect what you would get with a watch if you were to over over the years of wear if you went out and bought it brand new. Now this watch is no exception because as, as you'll see when I do the more closer look in on the video, you will notice that the sub dials do have some wear towards the inside of them. And also you'll notice there is some scratches on the case and dial window, which again I shall talk about later on in the video. And the other thing to mention, this watch, if the colorway that I'm presenting here, which is the black case with the orange bronzish highlights isn't for you, then this watch, which I'm showing you a picture of now, is available in a few other colors and a few other, what well, I would say, flavors. So if the watch that I'm featuring here isn't for you, then you can by all means buy it in a few other different colors and stuff like that on various websites like Amazon, eBay, and also I believe um, there's a few other online retailers. So with all of that out of the way, let's take a closer look at this Casio MCW100H. First of all, let's discover if this watch is for you and your wrist by talking about some of the sizes of this Casio MCW100H. Now in terms of the case size, you are looking at a width of 50 millimeters and that is from the left hand side to what will be the right hand side of the watch where the crown is just here. Look to look or top of the watch to the bottom, you are looking at about 54 millimeters. And if I just turn the watch around slowly, you are looking at a depth from the case back to what would be the top of the extrusions here. You're looking at about 14 millimeters. On the inner, what would be the inner lug width to the watch where the strap is just here, you are looking at about 16 millimeters. And in terms of where the strap meets the case, you're looking at 25 millimeters and that tapers down towards the end at about 21 millimeters. And what would be that side there and that side, oh, get my thumb and finger around that, that side there. Now while we're talking about the straps, let's talk about the materials that make up this strap. In terms of materials, what you are looking at for this watch, you are looking at what be a black plastic resin. And it doesn't feel too cheap or anything like that. It is quite a nice, not I wouldn't say madly thick, but it isn't thin either. And it's quite it's quite malleable really. I mean it's not super soft or anything like that, but it is for the price point, I would say, a very nice resin band. In terms of what would be the decals on the strap, you are looking at what would be two ribs just here and two ribs just down the bottom. And obviously you've got the strap retainer just here, which is again a nice plastic resin, which also meets the satin black plastic pin and buckle that you've got going on towards the end of that strap there. Design wise, as I mentioned, it's got a nice raised element to the outer part, which I believe is, no, it's not, um, it, it's all kind of satin really there's no polished elements to it and obviously underneath when I turn the strap around you've got these little raised elements here and I would imagine it allow for better grip on the wrist depending on what kind of activity you're doing so if it's if your wrists are wet from what would be swimming or any water light water based activity or sweating or anything like that then I think this watch has definitely got you covered now moving on to the case it is business as usual with Casio. It is a, what would be a black plastic resin and for some reason you do see some kind of polished elements that are going on here. Now I, I can only comment on the watch that I've got here and I don't know if it will happen on a brand new watch but I'm not sure if that is down to continual wear or obviously any cuffs or anything rubbing over the plastic but it does seem to 
to be a little bit too polished in my opinion but again that might be just down to the way that this watch has been exposed to but it will attract some scratches so if I just zoom in a bit closer as you can see this watch has it's been worn on a daily basis and it's lived a, a fairly I wouldn't say battle scarred life but it has picked up the odd knock and bang here and there and it will if you do buy a watch that has got a resin case to it it will be the case with your watch and if you can pardon the pun there that it will pick up scratches and bangs from time to time now it does obviously have the extrusions here which do aid to what would be the heavy duty sporty nature of it i just think that the case it, it's it's a nice looking case and especially with the four phillips screws that you do have there now to the right of the case you do have two metal polish pushers here and obviously with that case protecting what would be the crown that you've got here on this watch now the crown's quite nice fluid movement to it and if i do pull it out it allows you to what adjust what would be the time on this watch as well as the date so if i push it in one more time rotate the crown it'll allow you to adjust the date now these two pushes will allow you to what would be start and stop the chronograph so i'll just quickly show you here and as you can see the chronograph wearing away which i shall talk about a little bit later and then obviously you can reset it by pressing that button there the final material element to talk about with this watch is what would be that dial window here now the dial window is made up of an acrylic resin crystal while it looks good here i will say and you can probably see the odd blemish that i haven't managed to get out with polywatch it will pick up scratches from time to time so obviously bear that in mind if you've got a new version of one of these or any watch that has an acrylic resin crystal dial window to it it will pick up scratches along the way turning the watch around i'll quickly show you you do have a stainless steel case back which is affixed to the watch with four very small phillips screws here and obviously with the case back it does have the embossed logo the module number what will be the model number and obviously with it being stainless steel back and it does also mention that it is water resistance has a japanese movement built into it now the water resistance on this watch you are looking at 100 meters or 10 bar as it's advertised down the bottom and in terms of the japanese movement it does have an accuracy of plus and minus 20 seconds per month which is great for one of these watches i mean i've got to be honest it's probably on the more accurate end of the spectrum that i have featured in terms of casio watches on this channel now pairing that accurate module you are looking at a battery which has a battery life of up to three years from brand new and i've got to say it's probably not the longest in terms of what casio has to offer because there are some watches that you can buy obviously in different models and stuff like that where they do have up to 10 years so if you are looking for a watch that has a longer battery life then maybe this isn't a watch for you but again it is quite easy to change the batteries in these watches right let's concentrate more on the overall design of this watch and i've got to say first of all it is a great looking timepiece from casio it has a very heavy duty sporty look to it and i find that even though casio has their usual printed decals to the top and bottom of this watch advertising the specification and say it's obviously got a chronograph and the 100 meters aspect in this instance it does add to the overall look and feel of this watch the case has a very nice chunky feel to it as you can see here and obviously i do feel that the straps add to that aesthetic as well and i find that or i feel that it's one of these watches that while it doesn't have the built-in protection elements that a g-shock would have i feel that this watch would hold its own through knocks and bangs of daily wear when it comes to the dial for me it has to be one of my favorites in terms of the thickness of the hour and mini hands i do th believe that they really do stand out and the orange white arrowed tipped second hand adds to that very nice sporty element to the overall feel of this watch and the hour markers that i would say they are very thick and chunky as well now talking of chunky the 12 3 6 and 9 o'clock numerals are another standout feature on this overall dial design of this watch and while it may be a little bit too much for some people personally i think it adds to the overall look of this watch and also to mention in terms of readability you can't go wrong with this watch so if you find that you like me you're experiencing what would be deteriorating eyesight or slowly deteriorating eyesight i find this watch very readable and as you can see from a distance it is so easy to read the time on this watch 
Now, if you can look beyond what would be the chunky hands and arrow markers, you will see the black text on white background dice window that you've got between the four and five o'clock position, which doesn't, it doesn't get in the way of any other part of the dial on this watch. And also you will notice that this watch does have what is three sub dials to it. Now, what you've got on the first sub dial you do have, or to the right hand side, you do have what would be the 24 hour indicator here so obviously as we're 11 o'clock it does indicate the 11 o'clock position on the 24 hours to the bottom and to the left you have what would be the chronograph elements of this watch now the chronograph elements as this watch has a built-in chronograph it will allow you to measure an elapsed time of up to what would be 30 minutes now if i were to press the what would be the start stop button here you can see the chronograph in action so you can see the seconds sweeping away there and obviously you've got the minutes just there it will also allow you to do what is a, a split time which i've just pressed there and you can obviously release that split time and it will also allow you to do what is known as the indication of first and second finishes which if you just scroll down to the description box below there is the instructions for this watch listed there which allows you to understand how to be able to do that but again, it's just a nice looking chronograph on this watch and the 24 hour dial. And these, these are compounded by the fact that obviously they do use all the colorways that are built into this watch. So you've got the orange elements there. You've got like nice bronzed hands just here. So obviously they just fit in with the orange aesthetics that are going on with this watch or the highlights as it were with this watch. And nothing does shout out. So the, the whites on the little markers there, they're not, white they're like a, a, a gray white or an off-white so again it doesn't fight with the rest of the dial on this watch and i gotta say i really do love it it was one of the the as i was scrolling down the ebay listings it was a watch that stood out now the one other thing to mention with the dial is it does have an element of luminescence to it now the luminescence is on i'm guessing what be the hour and minute hand now the reason why i'm saying i'm guessing now i'm just quickly showing you what be just a little clip here that shows you just the luminescence for some unknown reason only working very dimly on what would be the hour hand here now in terms of the minute hand and the second because i thought that it might appear on the second it doesn't seem to be working really and i have put this watch in direct sunlight and i've also shown a very bright light on it and it's only the hour hand that just seems to be illuminating so again i don't know if something's got into the watch and that is also compounded by the fact that obviously these sub dials do seem to have a little bit of wear on the inside now with all that out the way what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop this watch on my six and a half inch wrist and say what it's like to wear now here it is on my six and a half inch wrist and i've got to say it really does look great on that my wrist that dial really really does stand out and i love the way that the dial just contrast with the background that you can see here so it just it just makes it so easy to read on the wrist and in terms of comfort i've got to say that strap does fit really well around my wrist there's no pinching from the ribs that are here normally what i do find with watches of this type where there is a, a lot more pronounced ribbing that they do tend to pinch but in this instance there's absolutely no pinching going on here and it just wears so well the only thing i will mention because it's quite i'll just move it down my wrist a little there is a little bit of inhibition from you can just feel it on my wrist here or the just the base of my hand here where you can just feel it just inhibiting the movement here but it's not in terms of i can't move my hand but it's just in terms of i do know that the watch is there but otherwise i would say it is a comfortable watch to wear the only negative is just the just the inhibition here that just goes on here but that's obviously because it is a quite a wide watch now this watch is lightweight as well it only measures around 50 grams so in terms of moving it around and daily wear you, you just simply wouldn't feel the weight on your wrist now in terms of the hoodies and all that i have tried it earlier and they do just they do, there's a little bit of kind of a resistance there but it's only just because of the extrusions but they do go over the watch quite well now the only negative i would say about the way or the styling of this watch it probably wouldn't work with all forms of outfits or all forms of occasions really so in terms of casual wear or on a daily basis where obviously you're going to work and stuff like that then there's no problem wearing this watch but if it's more formal and you're wearing a suit then this watch may look out of place and that's only my humble opinion you may feel differently on this brother other than the the negative just 
I've, it might not suit all occasions and just being able to feel that part of the watch there I've got to say it is a great standout sporty looking watch so overall what are my thoughts on this Casio MCW 100H well I've got to say it's a very distinctive looking watch which is which is great I really do like I, I love watches that do stand out in terms of how they look have a little bit more uniqueness to them now the other other thing I really do enjoy about this watch is that it's so easy to read the time now I've probably mentioned this a few times throughout the video but I wanted to just kind of reaffirm the fact that this watch is very easy to read even with my glasses off and obviously this isn't going to be it's going to be a little bit marmite in terms of how the numbers are presented on the main dial of this watch and to me I don't find it a problem I really do like the way this looks now it is a very sporty chunky watch and it does have that very heavy duty feel about it so again to some people it might not appeal but to others I think you, you're going to really enjoy this watch so for me it gets a massive thumbs up now the only thing to mention about this watch and it is just a little bit of a tip from me i had to change the battery after i put it on for the review and stuff like that now i was a little bit lazy i followed some of the instructions that were given on a, a youtube tutorial and what they did they actually took off the strap and removed what would be the 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 case back the stainless steel case back but what i did it was a little bit lazy in that i kind of prize the strap and i'll show you here as an example i prize the strap back so i can just get the case off because i have done that with a few of the watches and what happened unfortunately and it was my fault i'm going to say this but as a tip don't do what i did don't pull it back to get the case back off what i would say is just take the strap off because what happens is it comes away now again this is no fault of the watch this is absolutely my fault I'm, I'm just kind of highlighting it to you just in case you are eventually going to change the battery on this watch make sure that you take the straps off first because it makes a it makes life a lot easier and b you don't damage your watch like me being a bit of a fool but all it will take is i'm just going to burn in a little bit of plastic and this watch is good to go but otherwise other than me being a bit of a fool this watch it's it's a fantastic watch and once i get it repaired i can't wait to wear it on a daily basis hope that obviously the review that I've undertaken has helped you in some small way and if it has again give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos from the we try anything channel please subscribe by clicking on the button below and thank you for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you next time goodbye